Hi guys, it's me Jess here and welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make my picnic days outfit because it's an outdoor dating. So I want my outfit is not only pretty but also comfortable and suitable for some outdoor activity. That's why I choose this matching set with a crop top and a pants. The crop top have the gather design at the front with bow tie. The pants is basically a high weighted wireless band. It have the full look and side pockets at the front with elastic square band at the back. So it's really comfortable and you don't have to worry about installing the zipper. This matching set is just so cute and so comfortable. So I hope you like it and try it out. And let's get started. The first step is making the pattern for the set. To make the pattern for the crop top, I fold the paper in half foot. Then I draw a rectangle with 30 cm width, which is one and a half time a quarter of my bust side, and 20 cm length, which is the length from a bow to below my bread, plus 2 cm for seam allowance. It's the length that can cover my bread, and one length line is a folding line. From the cutting point between the length line and the width line, I mark down 6 cm on the land line. It's the land from above the bread to under the ambic, minus 1 cm. From this cutting point, I mark on the width line 12 cm, which is 1.5 time. The width from the under ambic to the inside shoulder, where is the position for the tie. Then connect two marks together. Based on this line, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the under ambic line of the crop top. From the top of the folding line, I mark down 4 cm. Then connect this mark to the mark on the width line I made before that. Based on this line, I make a slightly curved line to finish the neckline of the crop top. And we will have the front pattern of the crop top after cutting. Moving to the pattern for the pins, I draw a rectangle with 24 cm width, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 1 cm and 85 cm length which is the length from my belly button to my ankle is the length of the pen that I want. From one width line, I draw another one 29 cm next to it. It's a quarter of my hip side plus one per 10 my hip side minus 3 cm of the waistband. This is the length of the cross of the pen that I want. From this line, I increase 4.5 cm which is 1 per 20 my hip side at one end of the line. I mark at 1 per 3 the length of the line between two width lines. Then connect this mark to the end of the second width line. Based on it, I make a curved line to create the cross line of the front pins. At the top of the cross line, I mark down 1 cm, then connect this mark to the other end of the top width line to finish the new waistline for the front pins. I mark in the middle of the second width line foot, then drawing a horizontal line based on it later. This line will meet the ending line at one point. From this point, I mark to two sides 16 cm, which is a quarter of the length that I want, minus 1 cm. After that, I connect two marks to the end of the cross line and one end of the waist line to finish the inside left line and the side line of the front pins. Because they are not straight lines, I make the ending line a bit curve. Adding 1 cm for seam allowance after that, except 3 cm at the ending line, and we will have the pattern of the front pins after cutting. To make the back pattern of the pins, I make the front pattern without the seam allowance foot. At the end of the cross line, I make a line at 1 cm under it. The width of this line will be 9.2 cm, which is 1 per 10 my hip side. From one end of this new line, I mark up 1 cm foot, then connect it to the mask on the land line to create a cross line for the back pins. This line will cut the top width line at one point. From this cutting point, I increase the cross line to cm. 
then connect the end of the cross line to the other end of the top width line to create the waistline for the back pants. Because I want the pants to have the full velvet look at the front and no zipper. So the total width of the waistline has to be bigger than my hip side. So I can wear the pants. Therefore, the waistline at the back pants will be a quarter of my hip side. Blood the gap between a quarter of my hip side and a quarter of my waist side. Blood one centimeter. After that, I connect the end of the waistline to the end of the ending line to finish the side line of the back pants. At the other end of the ending line, I increase 4 cm foot, then connect it to the end of the cross line to finish the inside leg line of the back pants. To finish the curve line for the cross line, I use the same way I did to the front. Now I'm checking the length of the side line at the front pins to adjust the length of the side line at the back pin to be the same. So we can connect them together later. Doing the same for the inside leg line. I also adjust the ending line of the back pen a bit too, then adding seam allowance after that. And we will have the pattern of the back pants after cutting. To make the pocket pattern, I cut a rectangle with 20cm width and 30cm length. On one length line, I mark in the middle first, then connect this mark to the mask in the middle of the width line next to it. By on the new lines, I draw a slightly curved line to make the pocket pattern. Cutting two pieces like this. After that, I apply the pocket pattern to the top of the front pattern to copy the waistline and the side line. After cutting, I keep one pattern which is the back pattern of the pocket and keep working on the front pattern. As I want the side pocket look at the front, I make this look by drawing an inclined line with 4cm width and 14cm length, adding 1cm seam allowance for this line and cutting. Then I apply one pocket pattern to this part to copy the inclined line from the front pattern. And here's the front and the back pattern of the pockets after on. Now let's start making this set. I use 2 meters of check linen fabric in yellow color for this DIY. I'm making the crop top first. I cut a long fabric with 3.5 cm width and around 45 cm length. I fold 2 length lines of the fabric to the middle first, then keep folding it again and sew them together to create a tie for the crop top. You will need to make 4 ties for this scrap top. After cutting the front piece of the crop top, I make a loose seam at the top and the bottom of the crop top to create a gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric at the top should be the width between two inside shoulders, which is the position of the tie. The width at the end of the crop top should be a half of the under bust side. And the width between two under armbags should be a half of the bust side. Make another piece like this, then connect them together by the bin. At 
adding the tie to their position and sewing. And we will have the front part of the crop top after turning it inside out. To make the back of the crop top, I cut a fabric with 26cm length which is two times the length of the side line at the front crop top plus 2cm for seam allowance and 60cm width which is 1.5 times a half of my bust side. I fold two width lines together and keep them by the pink foot. Then I mark the position for the tie there later and sew them on together after adding the tie. I will use the elastic band at the top and the bottom of the back part. So I use the elastic band to measure the width of the fabric hole I will make there first. Make sure the fabric hole is big, bigger than the width of the elastic band so you can put the elastic band through it easily. The length of the elastic band at the top of the back part will be a half of the upper bust side. The length of the elastic band at the bottom of the back part will be a half of the under bust side. So two ends of the elastic band to the fabric to keep them from moving. Now I'm connecting two sides of the back part to one piece of the front part and sew foot. After sewing, I fold the end fabric of the other piece of the front part inside and over the first seam, then make the second seam. And I finish the crop top of the set. Moving to the pins, I start working with the front piece of the pin foot. At the waistline, I make a fold fabric by making two folds with 4cm width is one. So the final width of the waistline after on will be 13cm which is a quarter of my waist side minus 3cm that we cut up for the side pocket before. Doing the same for the other piece of the front pins, then connect them together at the cross line. After sewing, I connect the front pocket pieces to the front pins at the side cutting and sewing. I keep connecting the back pieces of the pocket to the front pockets after that.
and make the understitching seam at the incline lines of the pocket before turning the pocket to inside of the front pins. Then connect the pocket to the front pins at the waistline and the sideline. Moving to the back pins, I connect two pieces of the back pin together at the cross line foot. Then connect the back and the front pins at the side line and the inside left line later. To make the waistband, I cut a fabric with a centimeter length, which is to time the length of the waistband that I want, plus two centimeter for seam allowance. And 96 cm width, which is the same as the waist of the pins, plus 2 cm for seam allowance. I connect two lane lines together to create a circle fabric foot. After sewing, I fold two width lines together before connecting it to the waistline of the pins. Remember to keep a small unsewed space when sewing for the elastic band to go through later. I cut a 34 cm length elastic pin, which is a half of my waist side, plus 2 cm, to go through the waistband. Then I sew two ends of the elastic band at two sides of the waistband. Don't forget to close the unsewed space after that to finish the waistband. The last step is finishing the end of the leg. I draw a line at 6 cm above the ending line foot. After that, I fold the end fabric inside 1 cm foot, then keep folding it to the line I drew before, and sewing. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is such a cute but also a big sexy outfit. It's comfortable and requires an active set too, so you can feel free to run or ride a bike. I hope you like it and try it out. See you next week!